you know you just go into the store and you just be like hitting jackpots like yes 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 <laughs> Spice here and today I'm coming to you guys with a super exciting video. I'm in a different location. I decided to film in like a different area. Yeah, before we get into the video, definitely want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Join the Spice Gang. I'm gonna come with Spice Girl. We have a whole lot of fun over here. I make videos on beauty, fashion, lifestyle. You can find a little bit of everything here and my channel is for ladies who don't fit into your typical beauty standards. So you might be plus size. You might be dark skin you might just simply be a woman of color you don't fit into the beauty mold but you also don't give a period so i definitely make videos for ladies like that or someone who's working to be on that level so that's a little bit about me and my channel i also have social media handles as far as like instagram tiktok twitter i'll have all that good stuff linked below but today i'm going to be doing a no so thrift flip this is something a little bit different than what i do normally on my channel all this stuff is from the goodwill i went to like five different goodwill everybody knows we've all been in quarantine i haven't been able to go thrifting in so long and i had such a good experience at the thrift store today like you know you just go to the thrift store and you just be like hitting jackpots like yes 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 like period i literally had like such good luck i got things that were so trendy and like things that literally I usually can never find so it's going to be like a y2k theme because that's like what I'm obsessed with right now I'm a 90s baby anyway so like it's just like so nostalgic and I just love it and that's just literally like my new aesthetic I guess that's pretty much it oh also I need to tell you guys like I don't even know if my shorts gonna turn out right I haven't even tried I'm gonna be doing this on camera but um these are not like revolutionary it might just be a trim here a cut there so yeah if you guys want to see what i do with everything then just continue watching bye oh my god so i'm so super excited about this stuff y'all so like i literally have not been thrifting in so long so this is just like everything to me all right so yeah, everything that i got guys oh i'm super excited like i haven't been thrifting in so long like y'all are gonna love how these look on oh my god except for this one that one doesn't fit the purple shit but everything else it's so cute. I love it so much. <laughs> so the first thing that I got, so excited about these. Oh my God, y'all. There's some denim, like mom shorts. And the dopest part is Calvin Klein, okay? And these, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna do anything to these. So these are not gonna get flipped, but so cute. I got this little bucket hat. Thing, which like I saw this girl that I love on Instagram. I feel like this is something she would wear so that's why I picked it. This, this is cute. It's just like a little new type shirt. It's from Express. It actually has straps, but I think I'm gonna turn it into a tube top because tube tops are like super 2000s Y2K vibe. And I, I just love the lace look of it and how it's like nude looking. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut the straps on that. So that should be super easy. My fave, like it's so cute. It's a leopard dress and it has like this pretty like detail at the bottom that's like fringy. And if I could sew, I would totally put a split in this, but I'm really scared to ruin the dress. Cause this is like such a perfect dress. It fits me so perfect. It's by some brand called Robbie B. And it just fits like so amazingly. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be a flip. So I'm gonna try to turn these into like cargo shorts. So I'm really scared to see how it's gonna go, but I'm definitely gonna try. And this is just like, you know, the little army pants you can find. I really wanna get this like as straight as possible. Just like all super even and everything cuts properly. Okay. Everything. It's nice. Alright, so 
I think I should put one blade at a time. So with this, I'm just starting off by cutting right at the seam that's right at the knee. And I'm just making sure to avoid the pocket because I want the pocket that's on the side to still be functional. So that's why I kind of left that part on. So you just want to cut around and make sure you cut on the like outside of the seam so that the seam doesn't rip. And it's pretty much that easy. Also, if you have fabric scissors, those will probably work better than the kitchen shears that I'm using. I want to cut them a little shorter, but I'm going to leave the pocket. So I'm just measuring the end of the pocket up to the six. And then I'll make this line all the way across. So really the most important part here is that you make sure you don't cut the pocket. So you want it to, the shorts to be like a little bit shorter so that like they're like fitting my leg, but just to leave the pocket on. I feel like I've seen styles like this before. So it was actually really easy to do and it just kind of changes up the And here are the finished results, super cute. I feel like these would be so popping with like a pair of heels and like a dressy top. Um, yeah, so I really like the way these turned out, especially dressed up. This top I just wanna do something kind of like different with. So it's, it's really like an oversized blouse, but I just feel like I could do so much with it. The color is just like everything to me. I feel like it's just gonna go with everything. And I feel like this is gonna be all about how you like maneuver around so. so the next thing that I got is this leopard like floor length this would be considered a maxi skirt but I'm gonna turn this into like something different like I really hope I don't mess it up I'm gonna try to turn it into something different I have like a couple ideas for it okay so for this I had to start off by making the skirt a midi length skirt so I pretty much just measured to where I wanted it to fall. And then that's where I put my line at. It's gonna be different for everyone based off like your height and everything. All right, so I cut it. And then I got it to the midi length. And I wanna do this trick that I saw another YouTuber do. And she like put a bobby pin in the side to like change the style and just like switch it up a little bit. But I don't have a, no, a safety pin. But I don't have a safety pin, so I'm just gonna use this little clip and keep it up that way. So this is like the bootleg version, but you still get the same look. And I think that this is so cute, like with the graphic tee and like my docs, I feel like this would be like such a cute vibe and it's just so comfortable. Like, yes, yeah, super, super cute. I love the vibe that it gives. Oh, this, this is super cute. <laughs> It's very 90s. I really need me a nice pair of white sneakers. We'll make all my white 2K fashions pop a little more. But yeah, okay. So, yeah. It's just like a collared shirt with like a deep V-neck. And it's black, so you can't really see, but I'm gonna crop this one. Definitely gonna crop this. You can just go like so much. Trying to change my style to match like a New York vibe. So this is very self-explanatory. You just put on the shirt, figure out where you want to cut it, and then cut it straight across there. And, and then lastly, you just want to make sure that you like stretch the shirt at the hem so that it kind of rolls up and gives it a more natural look. I also got some additional accessories and I actually got this from Plato's Closet and some socks. I got this, which I don't really know about this one. Like, I kind of 
kind of like it. Then again, I kind of don't. It looks like this. Let me zip it up. It's another corset. This one like zips, so it's like extra convenient. But I feel like this would look so much cuter if I had bigger boobs. But this could definitely be like a sexy look. Though. And there's not really much that I can do to this one. Maybe I could take this bottom lining off. But yeah, this is how this one looks. A pretty cute vibe. Also got this pink tube top, which I just love the color. And I'm just going to crop this the same way I did the black shirt. When I found this, sis, when I found this, ooh, I probably did a little shriek. I literally know I screamed just a little because like, this is everything. This is like the epitome, epitome of life. Okay, like, look at this. It's like a corset top. It's so cute. The shape is amazing. Like, lingerie section. Those shorts, they weren't like the kids section. They weren't even in the women's short section at all. These, oh my god, this is so cute. Detailing on the back, actual like pull straps, so it's adjustable, which is nice. It's also adjustable right here. And I think the only thing I'm gonna do to this is take these little hanging things off, I think. So like that should be really easy. Not much of a flip, but I'm still gonna definitely show you guys how I do that. So with this part, I was going to just try to unhook the little tassel things, but they were pretty much impossible to get out. And it's actually cute with the little tassels, but I just decided to cut the tassels off cause that's just easier and it's cute with the tassels, but I feel like I will wear it more without the tassels. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those right off. I really hope you ladies enjoyed what I did with these outfits. If you guys want to see how I style all the stuff that I got, um, even the stuff that I didn't really flip, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up. That's going to be coming next. If you guys like my hair, check out TikTok. I do a tutorial on it on there. And yeah, follow me on all my social medias. Also, don't forget to subscribe and join the Spice Gang. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.